A photograph of four people carrying what looked like assault rifles sent law enforcement scrambling in New York City yesterday. It turned out they were paintball guns, very realistic looking paintball guns. Here's Contessa Brewer. The photos show men and a woman carrying what looks like some serious weaponry at a Staten Island parking lot. A retired police officer snapped the pics yesterday. The response was massive, with checkpoints and searched cars. Friday evening rush came to a standstill. Fort Wadsworth locked down for a couple hours. The NYPD sent out an alert beyond the lookout for individuals armed with what appear to be assault rifles. Investigators acknowledged they might be paintball guns. If it turned out to be a terrorist act and these people were going to cause some tremendous damage, we wanted to try to stop them. Staten Island private investigator Mike Gaynor spent years as an NYPD homicide detective. These weapons all look so similar or different in certain ways, and it, from a photograph, you're not going to be able to tell for sure. An M16 on top, a paintball marker, as it's officially known, on the bottom. BB guns, water guns, toy guns, even iPhone cases. The look-alike sometimes spark deadly consequences. November 2014, Cleveland, Ohio, 12-year-old Tamir Rice toys with a pellet gun in a park. An officer shoots and kills the boy. August 2014, Beaver Creek, Ohio. A shopper handles a BB gun for sale at a Walmart. Someone calls police. Responding officers shoot and kill the shopper. It's a tremendous burden on the officers today. It puts them in a position where they have to think twice, three times before taking action sometimes. Federal law bans manufacturers from making realistic looking toy guns unless they include that orange barrel plug. And the paintball industry urges its players to disassemble their devices and carry them in bags because of the potential for confusion with a real weapon here. Contessa, thank you.